day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. I'm glad you're back. You know, we had a great Sunday uh, where we were talking about stop complaining and, 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 and murmuring against God, against Him. And, and, and I, you know, the thing about it is this. I, I want to learn not to mess up my blessings. You know what I mean? And I think everybody else, too. I, I, we want our blessings to come through and flow through. And, you know, the Bible said everything give thanks, you know? And I, 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 we really had a good time. This is part B, and I hope you enjoyed part A if you have a chance to watch it. Uh, we, well, like I said, we had on the 17th of May. And we was talking about the fact that is there something to this complaining against God? Uh, and then one of the conversations came and said, well, I, I don't know we want to sound complaining against God. I'm complaining about other things. And, and what we brought out in the scripture was the fact is, maybe the fact that we're complaining in the situation that God has brought us to, maybe it's possible that God brought us to the situation because he needed us to be involved in trying to fix something or address something that he needs to be addressed in the people that you're interacting with. Maybe the certain circumstances is witnessing or, or will show a witness of you going through something that somebody else needs to see. Maybe it'll change somebody who have been doing things wrong, huh? Maybe the fact is that God protect you from some things and you had to bring you this way, or God could be steering you in a certain direction that those challenges and the wilderness comes up with to put you where he needs you to be. So we the question sometimes when the children of Israel came out of Egypt is their complaint against Moses and against Aaron. Uh, and God came down and said, you ain't complaining against them, you complaining against me. I'm the one that brought you out. I'm the one that delivered you out of Egypt. I'm the one that, that, that did all the different wonderful things in your sight. I'm the one that brought you to the Red Sea and you complaining? Why not you come in and ask him? Why don't you come in and say, Lord, thank you for delivering me out of Egypt. Thank you for taking me to the Red Sea. Thank you for giving me freedom. And Lord, we, we thank you for the promises you're going to make for us. I'm just saying, is, is that better? And it doesn't line up with living by faith. Faith that the substance things hope for, that everything's not seen. You know, one of the things that it was interesting, and like I said, the whole purpose is are we murmuring complaining to, or is it murmuring complaining messing up our blessings? And that's something we gotta check ourselves out there. But one of, one of the scriptures we did, Philippians 4.10, I think you I think you read this one before. Uh, I saw with 410. And let's see, we'll read. All the way to maybe, uh, let's see here. I think 17 is probably best right there. I think it'll work. It says, But I rejoice in the Lord greatly, that now at the last your care of me has flourished again, where ye were also careful, but ye lack opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of one, for I have learned, in whatever state I am, therewith to be content. I know how to be a base. I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Notwithstanding, you have well done that you did communicate with my affliction. Now you Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but you only. For even in Thessalonica, 
you sent once and again unto my necessity. Not because I desire you, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. What Paul is sitting there saying is I have a bound and I have a base, but the bottom line is I trust in the Lord. <laughs> in, in every situation I'm in, and then the Bible said to give thanks. So let's learn to do that. I'm just saying. And, and look, this ain't something to say I'm saying this, this is, I have arrived and you 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 got issues to work on. I'm saying there's this something all of us need to work on in practice. Because all of us are subject to doing the different types of uh, complaints. Uh, life trying to do that. The world trying to do that. All I'm trying to say, is that something that could be messing up our blessing? And if it is, then we need to check ourselves, huh? You know, one of the uh, one of the videos you used to look at for Martin Dives said, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, let's check this out. Is it possible that where I have asked or sought to go in life, that if I'm complaining in my journeys, is it messing up my blessing? Is it messing up my blessings? You're going to ask yourself that as well. You know, we were singing that song says, uh, uh, praising our Savior all the day long. Well, if you're praising him all the day long, I don't think you're going to be able to mix complaining and praising. Huh? So let's look at that and just understand that there's rejoicing and strength that comes with the joy of the Lord. So let's focus on that. Let's allow that to be our uh, uh, agenda in life. But the just live by faith. Faith is something things hope for. I can't be complaining about something I'm hoping for. I should be expecting and ready, waiting for God to bring those things to pass. Amen. So that's all I want to say. So I want you to enjoy this video and we will see you next time. Amen. All right. God bless you and uh, stay safe. Amen. God bless you. Bye bye. Yeah. Oh I man, need, I need, to, on, I need to be careful. I told you you're ouching me. You're, you're <laughs> ouching me, bro. Because while you were talking, there was a whole myriad of things that popped into my mind. Yes, sir. And uh, I can tell you, a good one is, you know, my my vehicle uh -huh. is is like my my dream car. Yeah. And uh. And it's, it's only by the grace of God that I got it. You know, it ain't nothing that I planned or anything. I desired it and, and just stood stood on faith and went and got it. And, uh -huh. and, and so I got it. And then not only that, I got another one. You know, so this is my second one. And um, though this vehicle has been hit several times, <laughs> Come on now. you oh. know, I'm, I'm like, and it still looks brand new. But I know it's been hit, and I'm like, man, I don't even want this car no more. Man, oh. I don't even really, really like it, you know, because it's, oh. you know, and everybody's like, man, I'll take it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> give it to me. But I've complained, you know, yeah. I want, I want a new one. Yeah. You know, I, I want a different one. Come on. But, but, you know, God blessed me to get it. Yes. And, and yet I, I complain about it, so I'm gonna have to shut up now. Thanks. You see what I'm saying? Thanks, thanks brother Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to quit. And, and not only there, there's there's plenty of other areas, you know, that I'm gonna have to just shut up, you know, and uh, yeah. and look at look at the uh, the source of it to begin with, because there's now. nothing, nothing that I can not nothing great, like Paul said. There's nothing good or great or anything that I can boast in my life. Only those things that fail. Come on, come on. You and, know, and only things, only those things that brought me pain and and and, and discomfort and and the trials and tribulations and stuff. I can I can boast. Yeah, oh yeah, I did great and did all that. Yeah, come but on. Everything now. good and great in my life, man. I tell you without a doubt. Yes. That it was God and God only exactly. that has brought it in my life, you know, that has blessed me. So exactly, <clears throat> exactly. Hey, you remember what Scripture said that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're sitting there complaining, we ain't giving a good testimony. No, we, we give right. we giving a negative testimony, huh? Amen. And I'm going to tell you something, you appreciate a lot of things that you give thanks for if you ever get in a situation which you have 
where uh, you were sick. And you remember how good it was to feel healed. But when you had that uh, either hangover or something like that, you'd be like, Lord, oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. <laughs> or, or you remember like a person that's drowning, they go crazy, which I don't blame them, because all of a sudden now that precious oxygen, that precious air, uh, you know, the thing that was sustaining them that they gave very little credence to, uh -huh. all of a sudden oh. become a big thing. A number one priority. Come on now. Yeah. Huh? You know, but you know what, you um, you bring up something. When we're in those situations, let's just say we are we are ill, yes, sir. or uh, we we've, we've lost resources or whatever. You know, even then, where are we at? Are we when we are desiring whatever it is that we're desiring? Are we desiring in the spirit, according to the will of the Father, or are we desiring it according to the flesh? Now. You know, we talk about significant emotional events that can change us. Well, they can, but a lot of times, once we get what we want, we just go back to who we were. So we really didn't learn anything. Right. I'm going to tell you, you know, when we were deployed, for instance, uh, and, you know, all of us here for the most part, you know, uh, ha have been deployed. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, um, uh, it, what that did for me, sitting there on that that cot in a in a spot that uh, I mean my knees were touching the other side of the wall as I'm sitting there you know um with my mobility back to the side uh the the the, the restroom blocks away <laughs> you know uh, yeah. I realized you know what I, I, right now God is telling me I don't really don't need a whole bunch of stuff that I've been thinking about back yeah. back home yeah and that was one of those times where he helped to clarify for me what I need to be concerned about. Right. You know, um, when I got had my survival train, I remember when, you know, water was scarce, you had to go out there and look for your food. And, you know, uh, I, I remember waking up at four o'clock in the morning. I don't know why I think it was four because I don't remember even having the watch on and I was thirsty. And, uh, and I told myself I wasn't going to drink that water that was, you know, out there. And <laughs> hey, in the middle of the night, I don't know how I found it, but I went there, rocks and all, dirt and all, I put it down, <laughs> you know. And, and uh, ever since then, H2O has been my favorite <laughs> refreshment, you know. So uh, the thing is, is we humble ourselves in a lot of different ways. And we can get prideful in a lot of different ways. And confidence is, uh, is, can be deceiving uh, if we don't watch out where that confidence is, is coming from or how we got it, you know? And, um, and so when I think about our brothers and sisters of old that right. we read about in the word, Come on. that is telling me a lot that, listen, I'm, no, I'm not better. Uh -uh. I'm, I'm really no different. Well, but I need to adhere to, to to what God is saying based on these scriptures. Listen, I get to murmuring, especially since I have the benefit of their stories. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I have yeah. the benefit Amen. of their stories. I know the end result, and then I still don't want to do right. Yeah, yeah. there's a problem yeah. there. There you Amen. go. Hey, brother, look at brother. All right. Yeah, but but you're right. That's the point is that how we look at things, and, and and you know we appreciate when we don't when we don't have something. All of a sudden now we start appreciating what we had, you know, yes. when it's taken away, you know. Well we, sh well, we should appreciate it. See, that's the I think that's that's one of the points that I wanted to make is that we don't always appreciate it. You know what I mean? Like say. Yeah. You uh, let's just talk a relationship right quick. You know, you get a you get a good woman. Um, all of a sudden, things get caustic. You want to fix it, and then you go right back to being maybe the problem that it was that caused things to be, be caustic in the first place. So we really didn't appreciate it. We just we just got what we desired, and that is it. You know, we yeah. we really aren't giving the 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 gratitude that needs to be there um, for. Uh, whatever it is that we, we we're having, you know, whatever it is that we're getting. So 
um, uh, uh, you know, I don't know. Sometimes I don't do well in trying to explain myself, but no, I, I know this. I know this. Try again, Gail. For me, when uh, I'm walking in the spirit, and maybe Brother Addison, you can kind of help me out with this. It's it, it, like it goes against who I am sometimes yeah. 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 in my flesh. Yeah. Right? And sometimes it's like, right now. You know, I'm comparison and maybe contrasting and what others might think. And I'm thinking, you know, this is strange thought, but uh -huh. it is strange. <laughs> okay. If, if you are trying to be in the spirit and be in the flesh at the same time. Yeah. yeah. Right. right. Yeah. You can't do that. Well, that's what you remember to say. The Romans said to be carnally minded is, is, is death. To be yeah. spiritually minded is life and peace. And you know, Joshua 1 8 says to meditate on the word what day and night. Yes. Right? And I'm saying that's yes. what I'm saying. It's harder than this one is harder for us because it's really going straight at us. Yeah. And 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 what what hinders us sometimes. Which means this conversation is uncomfortable. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah, even right? like what you were just saying, uh, Brother Jackson. Uh, the Bible even speaks. It says no man can have two masters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And brother, you know, you will hate one and despise the other. So you're trying to walk in the flesh, and you're trying to walk in the spirit at the same time. Yeah. It's not gonna work. Roger that. It's not gonna work. You know, you you you're uh, unstable. Come on now. You know what the Bible says about being unstable. Come on. Oh man. Oh man. Oh uh. Oh uh. <laughs> oh. That, 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 oh, that's uh. a big one. Yeah, yes, it so is. it's 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 imperative, you know, uh, that we always bring things into perspective. And if we could do that, right? You know, if you always contrast it with what, how much worse it could be, because I don't think any of us has experienced anything that was so bad it was that so bad. there wasn't something worse that could yeah. be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, even to the point of, well, I could be dead. <laughs> and even at that point, there's still something worse. I could be outside of Christ. Exactly. Right. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So, so there's could... always uh, something that we can bring into perspective about any situation, any circumstance, any test, any trial, any tribulation. You bring that thing into perspective. Come on now. Especially of where you were. Come on. And where you are. Come on. Come on, man. Come you, on. All you can do is praise God. Come you, on. You, I mean, you're you going to tear up the rug, you know, wear down some concrete dancing and, and praising, you know, <laughs> lose your voice glorifying God. I mean, I, what, what? Hey, I, I, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about the glory of God in my life and I what think, he's done. Yeah. And I think that's why he's talking about the, 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 the about overcoming by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony is to be able to testify what the Lord has done for me and what the Lord is doing yeah. for me. Huh? Yes. Yes. I'm a constantly, I'm constantly on the expectation. Cause when we said faith comes by hearing, right? And hearing yes. by the word of God. We also say that faith is the substance of things hoped for the evidence of evidence. things not seen. In other words, yes. I'm always, Focusing on what I'm hoping for, mm -hmm. amen. Not on what I see. You know, this this really goes with something that's been on my 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 heart. I was uh, speaking to my oldest brother. Yes, sir. You know, now he he's he he knows about the word. You know, and uh, me and a, and a few other family members, we will speak to him every now and then about it. And of course, you know, my mom was always on him. Yes, There's sir. not a time that they that he would come into her presence where he would, she wouldn't say something, but, uh, God gave me a word for that man. Glory. I come mean, on. I mean, I'm just so, so prepared to just share it with him yeah. because he thinks that his life has to change. And God told me to tell that man that can't nobody come on. change themselves. Come on. Amen. You just come. And, and don't worry about anything that you're doing, any way that you're living. Just accept Jesus Christ as your Lord in prayer 
because God is the only one that can change a person anyway. anyway. And if he wants you to change, he will change you. Come on, Just man. get on in here before it's too late. I can't wait to tell this boy that. Come on now. Amen. See? You know, and I don't think anybody's ever explained to him that we don't expect you to do anything other than what you're doing. Come on. Just Come accept on. God and, and start just renewing your mind. Just start reading that word. And if 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 which I know there's gonna be some some changes, but God through the Holy Spirit will make those changes. Man can't change nobody. Ain't nothing God. I can say. Uh -uh. You know, outside of God's word, that's going to change a person. <laughs> hey, Brother Addison. Oh, yes. You just, you just made me think of something. So, because this might be something that, that, you know, that I feel in myself sometimes. So, like you said, only God can change a person. Now, sometimes it feels like the old me, mm -hmm. in the, the person that's in the flesh. Yes. It's the thing that I'm trying to fix. Mm -hmm. But isn't it a, aren't we a new being? You're a new creation. Come on. Thank you. And I think that's maybe what happens with me. And you just kind of made me think of that. I say, so, okay, so hold up. I, if, if I'm trying to operate in the old Antoine, <laughs> right, uh -huh. that ain't ever going to work. No. I got to be in the spirit, which is the new me. Yes. Exactly. And that will help me make sense of things. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. All right. I I I I think I, I, you just you just gave me a revelation there, brother. Yeah, I appreciate it. You you uh you you don't you don't go by Antoine, Antoine, son of man. You go by Antoine, son of God. Come on. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. So so it's it's uh and and like I say, I often tell folks, man, that 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 dude I bet. He try and dig himself out of the ground, but you got to put dirt back on that man. There you go. Come you got to keep, you got to, you got to recognize and say, you know, get on back down there. Come on. You man. know, that that's not me. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Now we, see, but, uh, but yeah, I, it's, it's, it's amazing. Uh, how, how God could, could just speak to you. I mean, some of the simplest scriptures, man, that may not have nothing to do with what's on your mind, and God speaks through you, to you through those scriptures. Right. And, you right. know, uh, it's amazing how this popped in my mind because uh, my brother would, I, I call it murmuring. Uh -huh. You know, I, I got, I, I can't do this, I can't do that, you know. He's, he's just trying to change and and it's, there's no excuse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there right? is none. Ain't nobody asked you to change. <laughs> right. He's, he's not. He's not. He's asking you to appreciate where you are and where you're going. Because yeah. it's just to live by the hope of where I'm going. Expectations of what? Something good. Mm -hmm. I know he got something good. If I didn't get this, there must be something better. Right? In other yeah. words, he's, he's working on something on my behalf. And all I need to do is just continue to thank him and, 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 and praise him because he's going to make it happen. Because, look, Amen. matter of fact, I ask the question sometimes, and y'all correct me wrong, what what you going to do about it? You know what I'm talking about? If you're in a situation, right? Yeah. What you going to do about it then? If, if you want God to help you, if you want God to work with you, what you going to do about it? <laughs> I just want to know. That, I mean, that's what since I go to my own flesh, what, what I'm going to do about it? Murmur. That, that's it? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Complain. Come on. <laughs> unless, you, unless you're going to take a step to do something, seek him. Matter of fact, you're going to have to use uh, Trump. A little statement. Oh, I here we go. Right. <laughs> I said this right on his part. Because he says set off base. But with the part of said, what is it that you have to lose? You don't try yeah, it that man did say that. You don't try it everything else. What is it that you have to lose when you go with Jesus? Amen. Unfortunately, a lot of cases in life, we go, we go to him last. But then again, that's fine. He probably said, well, I. I'll let you try everything else first. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? 
Yeah. <laughs> hey, there's, there's people, we, 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 uh, we're back to what we're talking about, murmuring and complaining, uh, Elder Johnson, and we're talking about how the impact of that could be messing up our blessing instead of giving our praise to the fact of what we have from God and what God is going to do for us. Amen. You know, by the fact, that goes with that scripture, uh, uh, Brother Addison, of Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of good and not of good, evil, not, give yeah. you an expected end, huh? So Amen. God is in there saying is, I know you may be in a bad situation, but you know I'm not thinking that bad situation about you, and you know I'm going to work something out on your behalf. Amen. Woo! So, so here's a good example. Now I'm going to share again. And I'm going to let, I'm going to let uh, Brother Jackson do this one. Because we got about 15 minutes where Brother Jackson got to go. Well, we got 30 minutes where Brother Jackson got to go. Uh, this one is going to be, one second, let me get it. It's, it's, it's the healing of the pool of Salam on the Sabbath day. And in and, and, uh, John chapter 5, Brother Jackson, and we got 5, 1 through 6. And you know, and then before you, before you start reading, that it was in.